Hello, my fellow Americans. Tis I, the rumpled one. Ferguson, Missouri. I know you guys probably been waiting, or maybe, maybe not. But you know, sooner or later, I probably have to put a video out about it. And I waited. Because I wanted to get all the facts. I wanted to see what happened. I wanted to see if anybody else would tie it all together. But I haven't seen it, so that's why I'm doing this video now. Let me say this first. It's people. Remember that movie, Soylent Green? The problem is the fact that where people gets lost in the message. Maybe on purpose doesn't matter. The fact is it gets lost. The kid that got shot, he was a person. The police officer that shot him is a person. But once the media and the clowns get a hold of it, it just gets, everything gets spun. So let me see if I can show you. This is a complex situation but everything that's complex can get broken down into simple things so let me walk you through it in no particular order okay the kid portrayed as a good kid but seen robbing the store whose fault is that that's the fault of the parents didn't train the kid properly it's that simple of course after a certain age, people make their own decisions. But if they're instilled with the right values, morals, and ethics, that behavior wouldn't happen. The cop, the officer, the shooter. What was he thinking? I mean, usually when you stop somebody, it always seems like you're calling for backup. Why did he put himself in a position he would have to shoot somebody? It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, really. A couple people walking down the street and you wind up shooting them. There's something wrong with that picture. You know it. I know it. Now, the race card. The race issue. Black versus white. See, that's a smoke screen. That's a smoke and mirrors thing. Because, number one, on a daily basis, people are getting murdered. Some of them white, some of them black. Some blacks get murdered by whites, some blacks get murdered by blacks. But the point is, is that you get a white officer shooting a black kid, black man, it's a media circus. No, it shouldn't be any different than, you know, some black thug shooting another black person. The same, she had the same outcry, murder on the streets. Now, of course, when law enforcement is involved, yeah, that, there's a difference there. But the thing is, you see, we're starting to label. But the, thing, but the reality is, it's a person and another person. we got to remember that. It's people. So we got to look at the mentality. And then we talk about the system. Well, we all know the system's messed up. We all know that, you know, the rich get richer, the poor grow older, have babies, you know, get taxed and die. That's just the way it is. Got to change the system. If you can change the system. But it's really hard to change the system from within the system. The system just has a way of grinding you up. I mean, that's why there was a, that was one reason there was a revolution, which is a whole different topic. But you see, this is what we've got. We've got all these little things, these simple pieces, that you put them together and you wind up with the incident like Ferguson, Missouri. But once again, the main thing that's lost is it's people. You know, you get the, the, the cops showing up like the military, full battle dress automatic weapons, snipers pointing their, their 
automatic weapons with, you know, laser sights at reporters. There's something wrong with that picture. I mean, really. Why didn't the police just show up in their everyday blues with the sidearm and, and get out amongst the crowd instead of just congregating? Just spread out amongst the crowd. Because most of the people there were peaceful. Why not talk to the people and get to know the people? Treat the people like people, not like a crowd, not like something that has to be controlled. Because, see, that's what the bottom line is. It's all about power and control. And you see, the police go in there sh with the show of power that we are going to be in control no matter what. doesn't matter what the Constitution says. You, reporter, get the hell out of McDonald's. Why? Because I said so, and if you don't, I'll shoot you. This is America in the 21st century. You, you see all these pieces? You see how, how they add up? But if you break it down to simple things, once again, people... Why, why don't the police know the people they're policing? Why don't they? You know, it's come out that Ferguson basically preys on the poor people, gives them all kind of fines and tickets. They come in the, to the court, and the court closes the door five minutes after the, their assigned time, even though you, have to, you might have an assigned time at 12, a, a 12 p.m., you know, 12 noon, or 1, 1 o'clock p.m., they close the doors five minutes later, but they might not get around to your case to 1.30. So then they issue another bench warrant because failure to appear. I mean, it's just crazy. It's systematic, systemic. There's, we all know there's something wrong with this picture. And then you get, you know, the, the dinosaurs... Reverend Al Sharpton. I mean, you ever see that Seinfeld episode with the clown and George Costanza says, hey man, starts talking about Bozo and the guy goes, I don't know who Bozo is. The guy goes, how can you be a clown and not know who Bozo is? The guy goes like, get off it, man. You're hung up on some clown, you know, that's it's dead and gone in the past. Well, that's what Al Sharpton and the rest of those guys are. They're, they're clowns from the past. And people are still buying into their stuff. And the media laps it up. It just, it just keeps propagating the same old BS. You know, and then Bill Cosby gets out there and he speaks some truth. You know, it's like he walks down the, you know, a neighborhood and he can't understand the people. They, they don't speak proper English. And he says, you know... Your your parent your 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 probably your grandparents and their parents may have died for your right to go to school and get an education and this is how you repay them repay the blood that was spilled. He got crucified for talking like that because he's speaking common sense. He's speaking the truth. He's speaking personal responsibility. I mean, there was a time people had something called pride. There was no way they would stand in line for a handout. They were above that. They'd rather go hungry at night than stand in line to get a handout. That's gone away. Now it's like, hey, no, you owe me this. Sorry, nobody owes you a dang thing. You gotta work for it. You gotta earn it. You know, can't expect somebody to give you something just because you're here. It's just the world gone mad. And this Ferguson thing. It's not really the tip of the iceberg, but it's representative of the whole iceberg. And the main problem is, once again, is people. What they believe in, what they expect, what they're willing to do, what they're not willing to do. I mean, to think that a police officer is willing to shoot somebody because they're walking in the middle of the street. That a police officer is willing to point a gun at a reporter doing their job in America. You know, once again, my fellow Americans, I've talked about this in another video. 
that piece of paper called the Constitution, that other piece of paper called the Declaration of Independence, they're just pieces of paper. They don't give you anything. And if you believe it, you're wrong. Because there's only one thing out there, and that's force. If you have enough force, you are free. Nobody can tell you what to do, where to be, how to be, what to think. You are free. But if somebody has more force than you, then you have two choices. Obey, comply, or perish. Because they have the force. They have the force to lock you up, throw away the key. They have the force to take your life. You see, we are not free. We are taught and programmed to believe we are free. But my fellow Americans, Ferguson, Missouri shows we are not free. And it is time to wake up and smell the tyranny.